It's EU Tweets, your weekly roundup from the Brussels bubble Twitterati. If you were online last weekend, you couldn't miss it. The Eurovision Song Contest broke the internet with its annual display of pizzazz, performances and political point scoring. Dan Sobovitz said, you can't complain about the results if you didn't exercise your right to vote. Bill, the Queen of Random, said, of course Eurovision is confusing to Americans. The one with the most votes actually gets to win. There was a campaign to get votes for the UK to force them to host a display of European diversity, just as Brexit unfolds. Socialist Dawn thought, in particular, it would make Nigel Farage very unhappy. In the end, the winner was Portugal, prompting congratulations from the Portuguese commissioner, Carlos Modas. Alexander Bard said it was the ultimate form of pretentiousness, a hippie winning while claiming his cliched Disney Disney ballad was authentic. Moving to proper politics, new French President Emmanuel Macron announced his cabinet. It's a mixed vote, including members of Les Républicains, PS and Modem. The FT's Duncan Robinson said it looks like Macron has gone for someone old, someone new, someone borrowed and Beirut. And Paul Ganshu suggested that the new justice minister will indeed deliver justice one slap at a time. Wednesday was the International Day Against Homophobia and saw the Berlimont lit up in rainbow colours. There were even LGBT traffic lights. Commissioner Vice President Franz Timmermans was one of the first to tweet out solidarity, but eagle-eyed Twitter users were quick to point out that his team had forgotten the hashtag. And finally, our huh moment this week came courtesy of FSN's Jack Parrock with this picture of the lone yogi doing sun salutations in front of the Berlimont. Only in Brussels, indeed. This week, EU Tweets is supported by ePure, the voice of the European renewable ethanol industry. Check out their latest tweet reporting on Commissioner Katainen's comments at last week's Euractive event. And you can follow them on Twitter at ePure underscore ethanol. That's it for this week. Keep sending your witticisms and criticisms using the hashtag EU Tweets. And remember to tune in next week for what is almost certain to be a Trump special.